the first of June here today in Iowa. We got some much needed rain um, this morning, last night. I think we've been on about uh, three, three and a half week spell where we haven't had a single drop of rain. So it's good to see things were starting to get pretty dusty around here. Um, but we're headed out this morning. Rain's slowly kind of blowing out of here. Wanted to get some stands done today and get some cameras out. We got a new property this year we're gonna be hunting. Um, gentleman, my wife knows, was nice enough to kind of open up the door to one of the farms he hunts. Talked it over with the landowner and we got the green light to hunt. The same property he hunts as well. So we got two farms there that we'll basically, basically be able to hunt this year. We're gonna go to the first one this morning uh, and the, the gentleman has a few stands on the property already in place and we're gonna kind of go in and just put um, put some cameraman stands up in some of these trees and trim them up a little bit and get them set up for, for filming. Shouldn't have to do a whole lot of extra work on this property. It, a lot of the stands I feel like are already in some pretty solid setups but just getting them in position more for making them a little bit easier for two people to hunt out of is the plan. Um, and then we're gonna put a camera out on that property, bounce over to the other one, put a camera out on that one and kind of let things be. Um, a little bit early to be, a little bit earlier normal than I would put cameras out, but figured since we're gonna be out here today, um, got some mineral sites set up here a few weeks ago least slap a camera up now so I don't have to be going in and out of there a bunch in the summer when it's terribly hot so we're gonna be out here in a little while and try and get this done before the heat we just got to the first stand here it's right along this field edge so what we got set up here the there's a ladder stand actually in a cedar tree right next to us that was set up for hunting but it's a pretty small cedar tree so it ain't gonna work for getting a cameraman set in or a shooter set in too but there's a, a cherry tree right next to it here it'll be kind of like right over the shoulder so we're actually gonna put the shooter set in this tree and then have the cameraman probably film right out of the ladder stand um, but it should be a pretty sweet setup here. There's kind of a road that comes out here along this edge. And with this being corn this year, I think these deer, there's a crick system down below. I think they'll come out of this crick and work this edge, wrap it around, and come out to these fields. So hopefully this one don't take too long to get set up. We just finished the first setup here, overlooking a big bottom. Got corn planted down here this year. Got the cameraman stand behind me in this ladder stand. And we just buzzed up this other tree right next to it. It'll be kind of cool because you'll get a, with the cameraman right behind you, should get a little bit of an older, over the shoulder shot here. But we're kind of anticipating, there's a trail that comes out here, kind of anticipating the deer coming out dot onto this corner. There's a crick system that wraps all the way around. So I think most of these deer just run along this edge, but this is an awesome spot for pretty much a north wind setup. And you can kind of see this hill drops off here, but we can see this whole bottom for the most part. Um, so I think this will be a good spot come end October, early November, especially once the corn comes off here. So, Stand number one's done. We're gonna go head down in the bottom, put up stand number two. Um, that one's pretty much in a ladder stand. We should be able to buzz right up that same tree and hang the set and just probably just do a little bit of trimming, but I don't think that one will be too much work. But this was kind of the main one uh, that we had to get set up today. So keep moving here.
Well, we just got stand number two hung. Brennan didn't want to come along with because we were in the poison ivy patch. So I took one for the team. Went in there, got it hung. It's in a really cool spot. I had to do a little bit of trimming, but cameraman stands right in the same stand as the shooter stand and you overlook kind of a opening to the north, northeast, and it just looks like a prime spot for the rut for them bucks to cru cruise along that back edge. It's right down in the creek bottom. Very secluded. There's big timber to the north. I got high hopes for that stand. I'd love to be able to get a like a mock scrape or something out in front of it. I don't know really what to do yet though because there's not a lot of options for trees for doing that. So might have to get creative. But I got I got a good feeling about that tree. I feel like if we put time in there in the fall, hunt it on the right weather, we're gonna get a crack at something eventually here. But we're gonna go head over to the third stand on the property here. It's in a waterway. It's kind of a neat spot there too. There's a there's a drain tile that comes out of that corner and has running water all year. So in, in years of drought, supposedly that spot's dynamite. All the deer kind of congregate right there. So we're gonna go over there, put that up, and then I want to put a mineral over in that, or not a mineral, I want to put a trail camera over in that spot. I got a mineral started there, but try and point it kind of towards that water. And uh, I think most of the deer on this property, we should get inventory in that spot this summer. I'm gonna just set it up and I probably won't come back into this farm until mm, late August to check it. So one to go. Just got stand number three done. We got a little drain tile comes out here. There's a ditch, runs north and south. We got beans on the east, corn on the west. And there's like a fence gap that hooks up to this chunk of woods here. I'm thinking a lot of these deer will come through that in the evenings because this fence line, I mean, they can jump it, but it's not really the easiest path for them. So I think a lot of them will come through that and they're either gonna go down and take a drink of water, come out through the opening here, or they'll come out into the beans from here. So, got a camera we're gonna slap out. <clears throat> and then uh, we're pretty much done on this farm. Just got one other camera to put out and we'll be all done for the day. Just got to the last property here. This is a farm, got permission on last late last fall. Tried, uh, Tried muzzleloader hunting it or trying to set it up for muzzleloader hunting, but this is all basically just a clover field, kind of overgrown grass right now. But uh, given the time of year, the deer just weren't really hitting it as heavy. But we did get a few good bucks on it. I think it's going to be a really good spot earlier in the year and then come rut. So I got a mineral out here. I put it out here about a month ago. We're going to go in here, kind of clear that out, slap a Moultrie camera on it, and then just stay out of here. Uh, plan is to maybe put a cage blind out here somewhere where we can kind of set up to shoot these clover fields or even set up for a decoy. I think that'll be probably our best bet. There's not a lot of timber on this piece. It's literally only like two fingers in this 60 acre piece. And there's not even a lot of trees you can really get in um, or play your wind in very well. So. We're gonna hopefully try and get it. There's a knob up on this next point. That's where I'd like to get a cage blind if it works out. So go put this up and we'll be done for the day. Just going to put out this camera here. Got the mineral we put out about a month or so ago. Plan is, I wanna get a cage blind up on this hill 
So a lot of these deer come out of this corner down here and they feed up through this alfalfa field. And I thought, I put when I put this mineral out, I figured this would be a good spot to get inventory on them in the summer. We got a big block of timber. It's like a 30 acre block of timber to the west. It's like the only decent sized chunk of timber around. <clears throat> There's some ag to the north and then this green field here. I think this will be a pretty awesome spot early in the year. On the southeast side of the farm here, there's actually an old uh, windmill that I think this summer I'll be able to get up in, do some velvet scouting on this field in the afternoons. But we're gonna put this camera up here, hopefully get some inventory over the next few months. That's it, we're all done here. Plan is, so I got most of the stands hung the day that I wanna get hung. I'll probably have a couple more once we get closer to September time frame. I don't really want to be out in the woods too much later in the summer with poison ivy and with it being so hot. So we'll wait till it cools off a little bit more to get the rest of the stuff done. But I would say this is kind of the majority of the work that I wanted to get done here in Iowa on the farms that we can hunt. We'll be hunting some public as well this year. But uh, these will be kind of our, our farms we resort to once we get closer to the rut. Probably stick to hunting public a little bit more in October. Maybe a little bit in November if we get get something good going on one of the those pieces, and we got want to give the private pieces a break. But um, the only other summer work I'll probably do is maybe, like I said, getting that cage blind up, and that should be about it. So we're all done here for the day. Worked out pretty good. We got out of got done and got out of here before the heat picks up. So. That was the most important thing to not get too sweaty, but that's a wrap. Dan and I are running back up to my father-in-law's property. Uh, we didn't get to get any seed in the ground last weekend, so got done with work at a decent time, him and I both, so we're gonna get here and get some seed in the ground tonight for sure, so this is about the only night I got to do it, so it has to happen. Probably get there, maybe see if there's any cold beer in the fridge, load some up and get the tractor loaded up and we'll get after. to our first plot here uh, this is the first plot that I just up this weekend uh, she's pretty rocky in here but uh, we're gonna throw a, a spring blend in here uh, I really don't actually know what's all in it just I'd imagine grasses and clovers and all your springtime stuff so um, I think uh, once we get this in we'll move on to our biggest plot and then we'll go over to Brian's but uh, it'll be a little trial and error with this one, I think. Um, we're hoping hoping it comes up good. If it if it comes up good, we'll probably keep it through fall, depending on how the deer pressure is. But if not, we'll uh, drill some sort of brassica or something, fall forward or something into it. So, um, but for now, we're gonna get rolling. We got a couple hours to do, get uh, get these all done. So, time's a ticking. Plot number two, uh, this is our biggest plot. We call this uh, South Pine, because of that big ass dead pine tree in the background of me. Um, plan is here, we're gonna plant kind of a, just a security row of corn, 
or two or I guess whatever this bag will plant whatever we had left over just to kind of screen us off from access from the east there and then the plan is to possibly we'll kind of maybe make a wall of corn and kind of make a separate plot up on that south side if we have enough otherwise we're just gonna we're gonna do a mixture of alfalfa and beans and we're just gonna put them right together so hopefully the beans will come up through that alfalfa we'll find out we've never tried it I was told that it works really good but worst case scenario it doesn't come up the alfalfa will still be there so uh, hopefully they come up hopefully the corn comes up good and uh, I guess we'll we'll find out later this summer if we gotta come back in here and and do some more work but we're gonna cross our fingers it, it works the first time so oh man the cameraman getting no love he gets to sit in a nice air-conditioned cab and I am just getting destroyed what you should do is run back to the shack and grab and a whole bunch of beer is what you should do <laughs> oh they are terrible Northwoods mosquitoes not enjoyable people 10 out of 10 do not recommend Kyle's uh, spreading that beans and alfalfa out here. I just wanted to kind of explain a little more why uh, why they planted this first like 10 yards of this food plot in corn, kind of as a screen. A lot of these deer, they'll they'll come from the north and the west on this plot, and the only access in here is from the east. So the cabins to the east, and over the years they built a road out to this food plot. And it's really hard to get in here other any other way than these roads. It's just so thick and swampy in here. This is just true Northwoods hunting at its best, you know. So there's one access, and a lot of these deer, all the bedding is all around this this food plot. So they'll be bedded close, and obviously you don't wanna you don't wanna be trying to get into your stand and have deer either bedded close or on the food plot already. So this. This first 10 yards, having this little screen of corn here might help them get in a little easier, not spook as many deer, and, and just hopefully help help with access and and uh, help them for, keep from blowing deer out of here. So if this corn comes up good, that should work. It should help. So we'll see what happens. Well, that's going to be a wrap on uh, getting our spring plots put in. Um, been a been a heck of a year so far honestly for getting our plots in compared to what this property started with um, I think this is year five on this property and we started as a as a blank slate just no food plots no nothing it was just a, a big block of timber uh, it's a 200 acre piece and we're a little little more north um, north central so we're kind of I guess you could call it Northwoods hunting, but uh, we're trying to put as much food in this piece of property as we possibly can and just see what kind of deer we can draw from all around. It's, like I said, nothing but big timber. So from what we started at, like I said, to, to now, it's pretty amazing at where we're at now. So I think we're probably right around, I would say close to 10 acres of plots that we're putting in now. and. Um, started out at zero so year five and it's only going from there we're kind of this plot that we just finished up on we're trying to make this our call it our destination field um whatever that team uh means in the terms of northwoods hunting but uh this one's just shy uh four and a half acres right now we're hoping to get her somewhere around that that eight acres eventually obviously it comes with time but um yeah 
until fall plots start going in. We'll be done uh, sitting in the tractor for a while. The rest of the work's going to start. Uh, getting cameraman sets up, trimming stands out, uh, just all your all your other work that we got to do. Um, so this was just the beginning and just the beginning of a hopefully a good year. So it's going to be a wrap for spring plots.